Hi there, welcome back. This is the fir third video in the IESBE modeling and building performance video series. Um, in the previous video, we just started talking about how we can model the geometry of different um, spaces or zones. Um, we then just went through the, the different viewpoints you can have, and I think it's it's really not too complex. There's a number of videos available, and I think you, you, you should understand um, modeling actually the modeling of the geometry is actually quite simple to understand um it it is possible to like i said you can you can model different um zones in the end or different rooms but in this case we simply modeled um the geometry of a of a complete building and in this video i just want to show you how to add openings or windows or doors now I rarely use openings because once you've got a, a geometry that is punctured, if you want to call it in that way. So um, in, in, in the building performance assessment, you, you, you will in, in, or in terms of IS and it uses Energy Plus, it's actually quite difficult to model outdoor spaces. There are a number of programs we can do it, but they use a very different modeling basis that they work from. So here we always work with closed geometries. That's that's the first important thing. So openings are generally only used when you've got openings between zones and so forth. But I've never really found it useful. Um, but what what is important is that you can add windows and you can decide to add doors as well. Um, on the scale of this building, you might when you will we'll have one door as the main entrance really, or a fire escape. It's it's quite small the impact in the end where windows are quite you know used extensively throughout um, um, office buildings so, so that would be a quite quite a big impact okay so like I said you can decide to work with the model as a whole I find it a bit more difficult so I move down one level and then I know okay, I'm working on floor one and there's a, there's a, this is the, the the volume that I've got I can now add spaces into into these different um, volumes. You'll see that when I choose a different plane, it it changes color, it changes to red. So 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 then it means I will be working in in that plane. I can choose to also choose the, the roof itself, or it's a bit more difficult to choose the um, apologies, let's go back to geometry. We have to go back one level up. It's a bit more difficult to choose necessarily the floor plane. I find that Usually, then, then I, I would prefer being in the um, in plan view when we do that. Either way, so we're going down one floor. We don't want to be in plan view. We want to be in axonometric view, and we would like to say, okay, let's let's put some let's put some windows in. You can put a door, like I said, we can put one door in, um, and doors can be defined in in the construction area. They do have an impact. Certainly, doors don't have as well insulation capacity as a wall, for instance, necessarily, unless it's it's a, it, it specifically has better insulation, um, but it's a, 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 a 80 mil timber door as um, you know it's that's uh, as uh, with holes and so forth. This is you know, obviously going to be a point where heat is either gained or lost. Um, so what can you do? You can add a door by simply defining it. So you can see here, we can say at the base of zero, which means, okay, it's a door. And the door is never really one by one, as we know. Um, I wouldn't go for 2.1 in this case. I don't think it's 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 that critical. And 100 mils is not going to change anything, really. And um, as you can see, now I can, along that wall that I highlighted, I can position the wall, the door. Now, that is that is difficult, because you might actually want to position the door at a specific point. Um, in terms of thermal analysis, it's not always as critical. Um, in terms of solar analysis, the position of a wall and the window of that in that wall is important. Um, so if you do daylight analysis and also solar exposure, so it's good to have a, a model that's correct. Um, but if you are modeling purely the thermal transfer from one wall to another, you're looking at the insulated qualities, then, you know, the, whether the, the door is on the corner here or whether it's right in the center is actually relevant. irrelevant. It's, it's more that it's in the, on the northern wall. But as you can see, I can now, I've defined it, I can then position it 
and there you go. And um, you can decide to cancel that as well. Similarly, the windows is this is also an easy way to define the windows is to say let's then say it's a it's a meter by um, by two you know two two meters. So it's a really wide window, but obviously it's not on ground you know, on the floor itself, but maybe it's at at one point point at, at, at one meter. Um, and again, you can see I can simply choose to position it in there. I don't have much accuracy here, and that's not necessarily great. Um, you might, you know, you, you might be quite frustrated in this in this way because maybe there's very specific design decisions that you've taken that you would like to model. So you can also go down one level. So let's go down one level to the southern wall, for instance, and we can simply say, okay, let's draw a window here. So what happens now? Now I can draw it in. So I can say, I know that my grids are at, 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 at 0 0.5, so I might choose to have it at the second grid, so it's about a meter high. And so that's it's a little bit of modeling. You, you can just need to, you know, calculate and work a little bit with it. So it's a meter away. And I know that my one window is actually two meters high and seven meters wide. And then I've got a, at the very end, there's again, uh, a low thin window, for instance, that I would, that I know that's in the design. So, so one could. So as you can see, you can draw, and that's similar for the openings and the doors. You can draw that into, into the wall. So again, I can go back up one level, and you can see there I've got my windows now defined. And um, in the end, we can also say, well, maybe we would like to model something on the eastern side, and just so the model is not. So we can see the implications, and it's maybe a very large, very poor decision that was taken, and you put a, a very large window in the end. You'll see that when I model the window, I'm not modeling the mullions or or the 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 the, the position of the window within the wall itself. Um, the openings even isn't really modeled. The openings you define in the end of how how often it opens and. How wide, you know, what portion of the window opens in the end. Um, so, 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 when you model the geometry, it's really just the basics of the geometry. You can, for instance, also, if I go one, go down one floor here, um, this window that you can draw here could have also been, if we let's delete it, say, you might have designed it to be a series of of, of smaller, you know, windows that have. Um, long vertical mullion so it gives you this this I suppose linear quality. When you look at a wall like this, that as a window, which is ultimately the same glazing um, um, properties right next to each other, is actually a very ineffective way of modeling it for building performance purposes. So so you will not design it or draw it as such. You'll simply say no wait a minute it is one big opening ultimately when I draw it. So, and and that's often similarly when you've got a glass door, for instance, or a glass sliding door, you might, in that case, not draw it as a door, but rather draw it as a, as as a large sliding door that opens up. Um, and the reason being, it's going to perform <laughs> as a as a glazed section in the end, and not necessarily as a door. Um, it's not a closed section. So again, I think um, it's about simplifying the model, but then also um, making sense of what is really critical to draw and what and what, and what not, and whether you can, you know, simplify, simplify the, the, the the position or the, the combination of of the, the components. So what you'll see now is we've drawn in a number of windows and doors and so forth. So you can you're welcome to do that. Um, and you can draw the other other windows in, in your own time, and you'll be doing whatever you are at this moment. But again, just basically the basics by drawing windows and doors into um, the design. Thank you.